Hey guys, Megan here. Today I'm going to show you how I made a mini gnome garden. We used to have a big um, cypress type of tree here and it had died and so we cut it down. We cut the dead tree down and instead of pulling this stump out and digging all of the roots out of the ground, I just decided that we would leave the stump here and I would cut away some of the grass and fill this area with mulch and I would make either a fairy garden or a gnome garden here. And so I went to the dollar store the other day and they had all sorts of little gnome figurines. So that settled it. I was going to make a gnome garden. And since today is such um, an overcast kind of rainy day, I thought it was the perfect day to make my gnome garden to finally get around to doing it. So I thought I would do a quick little video and take you along with me and show you exactly how I do it. So the first thing I did was to outline the border of the garden using some spray paint. I wanted the border to be random and uneven looking, so I intentionally avoided making a nice neat circle. Once my line was painted, I began to dig the grass out with a small shovel. My goal here was to remove as much of the grass roots as possible to cut down on needing to weed later on. Here's hoping it works. Once the grass was removed, I filled the area with a thick layer of mulch. This is to help my gnome figurine stay in place, but it'll also help any plants I end up planting in this space stay moist and it'll cut down on weed growth as well. And that's it. This area is prepped and now I'm ready to get my gnome figurines and put them in place. So we just got back from the dollar store and I wanted to show you all of the cute little pieces that I got for my gnome garden. So I got two of these uh, four piece sets for $5 each. Um, you can see this one is a little tree house and a little gnome smoking his pipe as all good gnomes do. There's a whale and a little welcome sign. And then this one has another little house that says welcome. There's a wheelbarrow full of wood, a cobblestone pathway, and this little gnome is carrying a pot of something, maybe honey, I don't know. And then I got another little house. This one lights up actually. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. The lights come on in there. Anyway, you can turn it on and at night it'll pop up. And then I got a couple of these little benches. These were all a dollar a piece. I think I ended up spending like $33 or something on all of this. So there's a little pathway kind of border thing. Um, there's another well. Ivy growing on the top. There's just a little flower walkway so they can walk over it. There's a table, a little hammock. I thought that was cute. A cute little sign that I'll put somewhere. No place like gnome. Um, another little pathway. Let's see what else we got. There's another pathway. That I'll, or I mean a little border, not a pathway. Um, this little gnome guy is doing yoga. This lady is collecting some mushrooms. And there's another bench. Let's see what else. Oh, here's a little gnome lady playing her fiddle. And this little gnome has his walking stick. 
And then there's a bird bath and a little table with a teapot on it. You can see that. And then this one is a row of corn growing. And there is a watering can, little bird, some flowers. And another little walkway. All right, so I am going to um, unpackage this stuff and I am going to put it all around in this new mulched area. And eventually I'll plant some plants in there maybe, we'll see. Okay, so here's the final product. And this little gnome's home. He's like the homesteader over here. He does wood in his wheelbarrow and his um, corn growing. <laughs> and then this gnome just wants to hang out in the woods, and smoke his pipe, and live in his treehouse. And then this section is like the park. So this little gnome's playing music for whoever wants to come. And this is Hippie Gnome's wife. We'll just call her his wife because she's got all of her mushrooms and she's making dinner maybe or something. They're gonna have an outdoor picnic. They're outdoorsy folks. <laughs> so anyway, this is the end result. I will definitely put some plants in here, um, some little flowers that grow. I'll probably end up putting some stuff up on the stump as well. Um, I'm not really sure what yet. If you guys have any ideas of what would look good in here as far as specific types of plants or um, what to do with the stump, I would love to hear about it. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. And I'll probably get some stone maybe, some white stone that we have in some of our other garden beds and sprinkle throughout here as well. And maybe even border this with some, some small river rocks that would look good. Okay, so that's it. This is my mini gnome garden at least the beginnings of it so thanks for watching and you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next video